Yeah, hi everyone. Just one last video for the night. I've had some requests uh, in the comments on my videos about running Flash games, in particular the Facebook Flash games by Zynga, the Farmville, um, I think Cityville was another one that someone asked for. Now, I don't run those apps myself, but I will give it a shot. There's my password. Um, we're going to go to the... Let's do this through the Metro um, Internet Explorer 10, and there goes my autofocus. Something like that. And I will go to my Facebook account. Oh, I've still got this set up from my previous video. Facebook. Now, I don't use these applications, uh, but I'll just uh, look for them and see what happens. We'll see how it runs. People wanted to know whether it stutters or what the, if there are any problems running them, because I did a video um, where I uh, demonstrated Half-Life, the original Half-Life, running on um, a on this PC, and it really was not up to it. The I think the CPU the CPU performance is definitely there. But the graphics performance is very, very low on these um, Clover Trail Atom PCs. So they're great for two-dimensional stuff, just Windows UI programs, but anything 3D is just not really running well. But the question is about Flash. Does Flash run? Because Flash is something entirely different. It's a different interpreter. So um, let me go to sign into my account, and let me look up uh, Cityville. City. Oh, there we go. Now, this is probably going to post all kinds of rubbish onto my timeline um, that I really don't need everyone to see, but whatever. You know, someone out there asked for it, so uh, here we go. Let's see what happens. Now, this is the Metro IE10, not the desktop IE10, so it'll be interesting to see if it works on this, because this is, of course, the difference between Flash on the Metro or modern UI and the desktop UI is that websites that use want to use Flash on the modern UI, which is the Metro UI, have to, I understand, register or request to be allowed by Microsoft. So it's um, sort of locked down, the Metro UI. But Facebook and Zynga, these are big companies. Their stuff is going to work, no doubt. And sh that looks like it right there. Uh, I'll just see if this zooms. Yes, this zooms. It's all very fast and responsive. Seems like crazy. Oops, I've done something. I've probably just told all my friends that I'm winning cash or something. Look, add coins in cash. I don't know what that does. Free gifts, play, my neighbors, invite friends. Uh, hi, I'm Samantha. This land's got potential. Become mayor and build the city of your dreams. I clicked OK, and that probably posted to my timeline. There's some little people walking around. Grow your population. Click Build to make a new house. And my timeline probably says, Robert built a new house. Uh, oops. Click that there. Uh, let me just adjust the uh, settings on my video so that everything is visible. There we go. Something like that. Now it says, um, Houses increase population. Please select this house. I presume I tap on that, or that, or her, or that. There's a little icon there with cogs on it for settings. Okay, Houses must connect to roads. Click over here to build on this spot. And all my friends know I've built on that spot. I'm hoping I can go back into my timeline after this and just delete all this. Houses must connect to roads. Well, let me just see if this scrolls. Yep, yep, that's all scrolling. And there, down there, that looks like it might be a full screen option. So I'll just um, grab my capacitive stylus. and Because uh, ideally one would run a flash game full screen. So let's just do that. 
have that registered. Let's try that again. No, maybe that is not full screen. That's some sort of navigation tool. Look, I've got seven messages already. How about that one? What does that do? Little toolbar of some sort. Um, the magnifiers. There's a thing there that looks like a maximize button, so I'm just going to tap that. Yes, there we go, full screen. I'll just keep using the um, stylus because it's a little bit easier to point. Houses must connect to roads. Click over here to build on this spot. Uh, click over here, click over there. I don't know where I'm clicking. I'm not sure this is actually running properly. It's possibly running quite slowly. Yeah, um, it's not reacting to any. Uh, that says. Yeah, I don't. Th I do not. I don't think this is running properly. Um, yeah, now it's no longer zooming or doing anything. Uh, let me pull out my Bluetooth mouse and see if that has a charge, which it probably doesn't. Uh, I'll just turn this on. If that comes up, I'll, I'll use that. But um, no, I don't like the look of this. So I'll go back to this menu. These menus respond. So I'll click that maximize again, and maybe it'll bring it back to normal size. Yes, it does. Um, click over here to build on this spot. I don't know. Whatever I've done, I've messed it up. Um, play. I'm just going to close that. Let's do that. Open it again. Let's go to Facebook. Uh, for some reason this time it's not signing me in. Ah oh dear. There we go. And let's try that again. We'll go up here. And let's try the other one. What's the other one? Farm. No, someone asked for Cityville in particular. So City must work, surely. It's just a basic flash game. Surely a flash game works in this. Cityville, Zynga. Let's try this again. Now, I know this it's a bit boring to the do these videos like this because again they go on a bit but um, you know I, I, I haven't got the time to edit them all down but I have got the time to sort of just go through it and see what happens and hopefully that will help other people um, decide whether or not they want to buy a tablet like this for this sort of purpose okay that's um, I'll just let it do something for a moment it's obviously setting me up Okay, hi, I'm Samantha. Okay, grow your popula population. Click build to make a new house. Build. I don't think my Bluetooth mouse has got a charge in it. So I've tapped on build, but uh, it's not reacting quick enough for me to know whether or not it registered my tap. There we go, it has registered my tap. So it is registering the taps, but it's taking a long time to respond to them. Houses increase population. Click to select this house. I'm just going to tap it once, and I'll wait.
Houses must connect to roads. Click over here to build on this spot. Click. Start building. Click the construction site. Click to build. Okay. Oh, and it's making some sounds. Building sounds. There's come some little people. Gain experience to work to get experience XP. Coins and gadgets. Coins and goods. Move over the XP star to collect. Move over it. So I guess I'll tap it. Okay, I've collected the XP. Probably told all my friends that I'm a moron. You're almost done. Click again to move people into their home. Okay. So I guess that guy's going to move in. Cozy cottage. Look at all that money. Here comes a truck down the road sideways. Is he going to run over that person? He did, but it doesn't seem to matter. Okay, someone's moved in. There goes the neighborhood. And the truck takes off again. You'll be mayor in no time. Look for goals on the left. Okay. New goals. I expect um click me, yes. A town is born. Congratulations. I am gonna stop right there, because I'm hoping that up to this point it hasn't done anything on my timeline and maybe if I save right there I bet it's gonna say Rob's wasting his life playing Cityville. Um so I'm not gonna click that. Um just on first take it looks to me like it's not performing very well. If you knew what you were doing, if you knew where to click, you could probably play this. But if you were just clicking around trying to figure it out, or like a child was using this, they'd probably just end up in a mess. It really wouldn't work. So I'd say that's not very good. Um, I looked at a review on an Ant Tech today about the performance of the uh, Clover Trail Z80. Oh, sorry, Clover Trail. Um, Atom and uh, Z80 and uh, the graphics performance is very very subpar um, so and, and it is expected to improve with the next version of this but that's not for a year and uh, it's not going to improve that immensely so it's really a tablet for using as a for the 2D desktop for desktop apps it works for that it works for the uh, modern UI interface but uh, some stuff like this is not really working very well, um, surprisingly. I'll just go to, uh, just go to the search box up there, search bar up there, because I just want to type in, oops, what have I done? To type in farm, Farmville 2, Farmville game. Let me just type in, I'll just click the Farmville and see what happens. Okay. All my friends are thinking, yep, Robert is now playing Farmville about two years after the company went on the stock market and totally failed. Do magic on your farm. You with this ninety percent discount or blah, 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 whatever, I don't know. Click this close button. Yeah, so it reacts a few seconds after tapping on the um screen, so you'd really have to know where you're going to tap and then wait. Money tree is here. Double your money in a year. Sure. Uh, uh, scroll bar is not really working. Oh, the screen works. Play. Money tree is here. Okay, I don't know what's going on there. Tap in the middle. Nope. Play free now. Now that's something else. Castleville, Cityville, Farmville. Play at neighbors. Farmville, 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 Farmville. Okay, Farmville requests. Play. Oh, yeah, there we go. Choose your gender. Male. I've tapped, and as you can see, it takes a while to react. Needle in a haystack. Find the needle to win. No, go away. Go away. New goals. Welcome to your farm. 
So here we go. I'm just dragging this around. It's a bit laggy. It's quite laggy. I hope that's not me. It probably is. Hello. It's telling me to click there. Customize my. Okay, cancel that. So hopefully you can see how that is um, behaving. There's a maximize button again. I'm just going to try that and see what happens. Okay, that maximizes this uh, flash game to the, fill the screen. And again, it's telling me to use this little pointer. I've got a free orchard. Okay, whatever. Click that. Move tool. Click an object to pick it up, whatever. Okay, so I can move the game around. Yep. That does its thing. Uh, while it's doing that, let me just uh, go back to the uh, UI here. I'm going to go to the desktop. I'm going to launch desktop uh, IE. I'm going to go to Facebook. Oops, Bok. Go to Facebook.com. And uh, I'm just going to log in and do the same thing from the desktop. In fact, uh, on this one, I'm going to load up that Cityville app. There we go. Now, this is the Windows 8 desktop browser, which is full IE 10 with no restrictions at all. Cityville, Zynga, build the city of your dreams and uh, waste your life away. Okay, now that's how uh, oh, it's loading something there, 31 percent. While that's loading, sorry for going on a bit about this, but just in case anyone's interested. Now I note this is um, making the UI quite sluggish. Oh, there we go. Sorry, I thought my taskbar was up there. Task manager. Performance, CPU. So I'll just let that sit there. Just let sit, sit let that sit down there. We can see the CPU performance is uh, right now it's um, 16% or so. Go back to the window here, and for some reason that's no longer on top. View. It's always used to be on top. Always on top. There we go. Performance CPU. So there we can see uh, this game is well. Currently, I'm using 15% CPU and uh, 1.1 gigabytes. So I'll go back to the window here, to the browser window. CPU performance uh, remains the same. I'll just put that over in that corner so we can watch it. Go back to the window. Hi, I'm Samantha. Okay. Grow your population. Click build. Okay. Note that it's not really doing anything to the CPU usage of the computer, which leads me to believe it's just incredibly inefficient. <laughs> and now IE is telling me the page is not responding. Yeah, it's just really inefficient. There's a little bit of a spike there. Houses increase population. Click to select the house. Again, no great spike in CPU, so it's not really a CPU issue. Which could mean, again, that it's a graphics issue. There we go, this is back to this situation. This seems to be performing about the same as the Metro IE 10. It's not really any better, and as we can see here, it's not the CPU. It's got to be the graphics or something to do with the Flash player. Um, that's just totally inefficient. So let's kill that. Um, last thing I will try, I'm just going to close that. I'll go back to the, um, go back here, close the desktop, the, the Metro um, browser. And from the Metro browser, because someone else asked about Flash games, I'm not sure if that was the same person or someone else. But uh, let's go to Google. Let's go in here and let's go Flash Games. 
Flash Games, 247 Player Arcade for free online games, app addicting games. Yeah, okay, let's try that. Let's get a load of some typical Flash games. See what happens. Because those Zinka games, I don't know what's going on in those. Games, latest games. Oh dear, what's hot? And I don't know if these are going to work with the uh, stylus, but we'll find out. What's hot? Road spies, truck loaders, deep mining. Oh dear, potty racers. The world's hardest game. For, oh gosh, top rated. Fourth and goal. Zombie. Zombo. Zombocalypse. Well, let's try that. Zombocalypse. Is that loading? Here it is. Games, action games, Zombocalypse. Some sort of ad. It says down here, game will begin in 23 seconds. So I guess we just have to let it go. Let's just see if the uh, computer works. You know, can we do other stuff while that's carrying on? Let's go to all about Windows Phone. And while that's loading, let's go to uh, let's go to my videos. Swipe back to all about Windows Phone. There's the news about Spotify. Back to my videos. Play something on my home group network. Some Dr. Katz videos in there. All this is going on whilst that game is still loading on the, uh, while this thing is still playing. Twelve seconds to go. Oh, this is uh, on a plug-in drive on my desktop, so that's why that's taken a while. Okay, let's just pick a video. Playing some Dr. Cats. That's still playing. Nine seconds to go. Those are very slow seconds. <laughs> okay, just showing you what, what the computer can do if it's not having to deal with 3D graphics or Flash. So that still plays, there's that going on. Um, uh, what else have we got going? Forget that. There's the game. The game will begin in zero zero, so that's now gonna do its thing, is it? Monkey Quest Zombocalypse Monkey Quest Virtual World. I'll just close that out into another tab. It says paused. Uh, play. Game will begin in zero zero. Do your thing. Twenty-three minutes into this video, and I don't think Flash games are doing very well here. I don't know what that's supposed to do, but it's trying to give me a different game. Rate review favorite. Just going to hit one of those buttons and see what happens. Now that opens a new window. I'm sure every swipe of a pen opens ads and everything else here. Paused. Paused. Play. It's not playing. Let's go to action games. Hmm. I don't know. Let's play that thing there. It doesn't look good, in all truth of the matter. It's a oh, so silly ad again. Whilst that's um, playing, let me uh, risk failure again and uh, launch what you should be doing with a Windows tablet, and that's playing games that it's designed for. So, for example, Armed. You can download this free from the uh, Windows App Store. 
I've paid for this on my Windows Phone and it's an old game, it's a couple of years old now I think, it came out with uh, Windows Phone 7 and it's not an Xbox Live game but it was um, quite cool because it had nice 3D graphics, this is sort of one of the best third party games um, I'm just going to go new match can't play that level, let's play this one go but this shows you what can be done with a game that is actually made to work on a device like this. Um, so this is 3D graphics. You can zoom in and out. You can rotate around. Very cool. Very nice. It's sort of like an RTS, real-time strategy game. You know, Command and Conquer style, but it's turn-based. You actually uh, set things up. Let's build a manufacturing thing there. Buy that. Away we go and let's say I've completed my turn. It's building it. You see how fast and responsive that is? Very nice. And this is nice graphics. Very nice. You can go all the way out and you can look over to the other side where the enemy is. thought he was supposed to be there. There he is. There's the enemy. And you can scroll around there and see what they're doing. And so on. So that works. And while that's running, let's see what's happening over here. He's very, very long, 30 seconds. I think it must be restarting when I come in here, so I'll let that finish. 26 minutes. I'm sure you've seen enough of this video, but whatever. I'll just uh, carry it on till its final conclusion. Because people are interested in gaming, you know, can you game on one of these on one of these devices? And yes, you can, but not necessarily the games that you have been playing. You know, if you've been playing Zynga, maybe, maybe not. Farmville, maybe not. Uh, Age of Empires, maybe not. But, uh, and certainly Half-Life and whatever, not. Okay, there we go. This is loading. 39%, so it's loading a Flash game now. 74, 76, 77. Away it goes. Hurrah, 100%. Ta-da. Play. Bang bang. So far it uh, works with a stylus or finger, so that's nice. Iron Zilla, do your thing. Play, options, credits, play. New game. And does this zoom? No, it doesn't. Oh, yes, it does. So this zooms, but I'm sure there must be a way to full screen this, so we'll see. Skip intro. Gotta love those skip intros on Flash games. Survive, machete. Left and right to move, space to use weapon. Now, this is where it falls down because, of course, we haven't got the keyboard. Unless we do that. There it is. And, no, that doesn't work. Oops, space makes it scroll down. AWSDR. Oops, they're eating me. Machete. Can't do anything. Uh, let me try this keyboard. Oh, this works. So this is the uh, conventional keyboard option on the uh, screen. And now the arrow keys work. And I can use the... Uh... <laughs> oh, well, that's interesting. Get those zombies. It's probably being a bit slow here. Whoops, oops, oops. Okay, so if you had a Bluetooth keyboard hooked up to this, you could probably play that. I'll just uh, cancel out of that. Oopsie. And uh, get rid of it. Go back to um, Armed, that's still playing away. So again, I think this demonstrates that CPU power is not an issue. Graphics power is definitely a problem. Uh, I have anything else? Pinball FX is a game that comes with uh, Windows 8. This is meant to demonstrate 3D graphics. And I ha I've only fired this up once briefly. Not in a video, but I may as well show it to you. Zen Studios. Okay, give me a long... Pinball FX. Okay. Mars. Single player. You can 
while signing it. Okay, it's obviously signing me into Xbox, so it's an Xbox Live game. Signed in. Uh, single player. Learning profile. Okay, get on with it. There we go. It's a pinball game. It's got nice 3D graphics from memory. Hmm. Ooh, look at that. You can move around the, uh, fire the, um, oh, it's been about 20 years since I played, uh, played pinball. Okay, where's the ball? And it's out, just like in the old days. Interesting to have a pinball game with a little robot running around the screen. And I can shoot off the next ball. So again, this is demonstrating how a game can have high performance graphics, even on a computer like this that has virtually no graphics power, if it is made to work on this computer. Obviously those flash games are not and neither is Half-Life from 10 years ago. So I'm going to wrap this up. Oh! Left it. Pause. Exit. I'll just exit. Does she want to quit? A whole lot of things you can do there. Um, yeah, there we go. So the answer to the question about whether Flash games like uh, Zynga games, um, Farmville, Cityville, and so on work on the Z80 Clover Trail. Sorry, what do I say Z80? The Atom-based Clover Trail um, CPU, Windows 8 tablet. Not really. I don't think it's good enough to play. Um, so if you're planning to play those games on a tablet like this, that's a no. You probably need a higher performance um, computer, something like a Surface Pro, or the model up from these. There's the uh, Acer and the Asus with the uh, Core i5, which would obviously do it very well. And uh, this is a no. Um, if you made it this far through, you're doing very well. Thank you for watching. Okay, bye-bye.